We had a few slow weeks in AI development, but that's changing fast. Multiple model releases, including this one today from Google DeepMind. They're saying they're presenting the first AI to solve the international mathematical Olympiad problems at a silver medalist level. And that's putting it mildly. The AI system was one point away from getting the gold medal. They continue that the system combines alpha proof, a new breakthrough model for formal reasoning. This is something that's new and different and alpha geometry 2, an improved version of their previous system. Also, OpenAI announces a search engine called search GPT. Alphabet shares dip. We now have multiple competitors in the online search arena that's powered with AI. We of course have perplexity, which is excellent for looking stuff up on the web. Now OpenAI is throwing its hat in the ring. They do have a wait list you have to join as it's being rolled out to early participants. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll link a link below. Join the waitlist and check it out. But let's get back to our main story. Here's Jimmy Apple's note the date on this one, July 7th, 2024. He's saying, so everyone in the know is just keeping quiet about the math benchmarks being smashed later in the year from a certain lab slash labs. Interesting way of putting that. So I think a lot of people thought this was the opening eye strawberry project that some details were leaked on just a few weeks after that. But now it seems like maybe that was referring to Google DeepMind. Now, Google and DeepMind are almost two separate entities under the Alphabet umbrella. I think there were a lot of attempts to kind of unify the two. But as far as I know, there hasn't been any progress on that front. Maybe that's why they're calling their models Gemini, as in two different parts. But the challenge of solving mathematical problems has always been seen as kind of the great AI challenge. As this announcement blog post begins, Artificial General Intelligence AGI with advanced mathematical reasoning has the potential to unlock new frontiers in science and discovery. We've seen Google DeepMind produce something like AlphaFold 2 that helps us understand the 3D structures of proteins, allowing for deeper understanding of how to fix certain diseases and potentially craft custom design medicines that, that can be designed to be very effective without side effects. It's still a very early but very promising field. But math, breakthroughs in math is, is very different. Math underlies the very structure of this universe. And even very recently it was said that AI models will not be able to create breakthroughs in the mathematical reasoning space. We need to talk about the IMO, the International Mathematical Olympiad, where the best and brightest from all over the world gather to do math, basically. This unique event brings the world's brightest young minds and represents the culmination of many years of mathematical endeavor and hundreds of attempts at solving problems. The teams have long math exams, each containing three problems on two consecutive days. The exam papers are marked over the next few days with each solution or attempt being awarded scores. By the way, note they're saying here that these uh, work days, they're around 4.5 hours in length. Keep that number in mind, four and a half hours. So Google DeepMind is saying that this year, they applied their combined AI system to the competition problems provided by the IMO organizers. Our solutions were scored according to the IMO's point awarding rules, and they basically explain why this is in fact very legit. There's no trickery and it's all official and real. Here's what one of the graders of this AI's paper had said, Professor Sir Timothy Gowers, IMO gold medalist and field medal winner. The fact that the program can come up with a non-obvious construction like this is very impressive and well beyond what I thought was state of the art. Notice this non-obvious word. It's very interesting because this is a repeating pattern. We've talked about AlphaGo beating the world champion of Go, Lisa Dole, at the game of Go, beating him handsomely. But there was one move in particular that brought a lot of attention. It's infamous now, referred to as Move 37. When AlphaGo made it, people laughed. The judges, the people that know how to play the game, kind of laughed it off. They said, silly AI, that's not a good move. That move was pivotal, later called brilliant. It was a very strong move that eventually led to the AI model winning the game, but it was alien. It was very different from the typical moves made by human players. We've seen the same thing with NVIDIA research where they use GPT-4 to write reward functions for training robots in a simulation, specifically here, teaching it to twirl a pen in its fingers. We already covered it, but 
So I'm not going to go over too much, but basically at some point, the AI gets better than humans at solving the harder tasks. But interestingly, they say that they observe that the harder the task is, the less correlated the Eureka rewards. In other words, as things get harder and humans falter, they get worse at performing the task, the AI gets better, and its solutions are novel. They're new, innovative, they're, they're alien. They're not the solutions that the human brain comes up with. The solutions are better and very different. And now that very same pattern again pops up here. This program comes up with a non-obvious construction. We'll come back to that. But I just wanted you to note this. They mentioned that the in the official competition, students submit answers in two sessions of 4.5 hours each. Our systems solved one problem within minutes and took up to three days to solve the others. But both of those points are very interesting because, yes, solving something quickly certainly is impressive. But I think the fact that the system can take a long time to slowly grind out a solution, to slowly figure something out, is also very interesting. Certain problems might not be able to solve quickly. Alpha Proof solved two algebra problems and one number theory problem by determining the answer and proving it was correct. The second sort of part of the test was generating a proof, writing a proof for your solution. They continue, this included the hardest problem in the competition solved by only five contestants at this year's IMO. Now, if you've been following the AI dialogue for the last couple of years, one thing that is kind of apparent is the moving goalposts. Whenever an AI model learns to do something new, the critics say, yeah, but it can't do this sort of next goalpost. It can write at a high school level, yeah, but it can't write like a college level person. When it is able to write like a college level person, yeah, but it can't write on a professor level, PhD sort of level. Each time that goalpost moves further and further, Interestingly here, I think we're approaching the end of our ability to move those goalposts. Notice there were 609 contestants at the official competition. Again, these are the world's brightest and best people in this field from all over the world. And 58 of them achieved the gold medal. In order to do that, the, the threshold to receive the gold medal starts at 29 points out of a maximum of 42. So that you can see that represented here. Depending on how many points you get, you get a different medal. 29 and above gets you the prestigious gold medal. The AI clocked in at 28, just one point from receiving the gold medal. Assuming it improves in any way over the next couple of years, I think we can assume that very soon it will in fact receive the gold medal. Where then will we be able to move the gold post to next, I wonder? But whatever the case, let's dive in, into a little bit of how it did that, because that's probably much more fascinating than the exact number or points of, of what happened. So remember, there's two pieces to this, so it's uh, two separate systems, it seems like. One is alpha proof, and this is the new thing that probably has a lot to do with what happened here. So they're saying they're calling it a formal approach to reasoning. This first sentence is kind of mind-blowing. Alpha proof is a system that trains itself. It trains itself to prove mathematical statements in the formal language lean. What is lean? It's basically a functional programming language that makes it easy to write correct and maintainable code. And you can also use this language as an interactive theorem prover. I don't know about you, I generally feel like grasping complex looking mathematical equations is, you know, a little bit difficult. I'm sure that's duh. But I often find that representing those equations in kind of code in that sort of notation makes it a lot easier to read. Let me know if that's the case for you. Like in this image on the left with mathematical formulas versus the image on the right with code, without looking too deeply into it, if given the choice between trying to work on one versus the other, I'd much prefer to go with the code one. Now, the reason I bring that up is a couple interesting points. So first, the problems from the IMO, they were manually translated into formal mathematical language for our systems to understand. So that's one. So large language models are notoriously bad at doing math. So if you ask ChatGPT or Gemini or Claude to do various math problems, even very simple ones, it can fail spectacularly. <laughs> I am on the IMO website trying to download the problems for 2024. And judging by how long it's taking, how slow this website is, I, I'm not the only one. I wonder if this website is getting hit with an unprecedented amount of traffic because of the Google DeepMind announcement. Several days later, 
I was able to download the word problems. Just kidding, it did take a few minutes, but here's an example, problem number one. So these are the actual problems that the Google DeepMind model was working on. Six problems, each worth potentially seven points for a total of 42. So if you're listening to this and you can't see, I would describe it as mostly a problem that's written in natural language, so English, usually with a few lines of math functions thrown in there and math various math symbols kind of sprinkled throughout so this was taken and as i say manually translated meaning i assume humans took it and translated into formal mathematical language for systems to understand it now interestingly they are able to do this it sounds like with large language models so here they're saying math programming languages like lean allow answers to be formally verified but their use has been limited by a lack of human written data available and then a light bulb so we fine-tune a gemini model to translate natural language problems into a set of formal ones for training alpha proof so it does seem like for generating the data for training the model they did use gemini a fine-tuned version of gemini to take these word problems with math notation turning it into you know something that looks like code this lean notation the reason i point that out is because this fit, fits into that whole theme of the next generation of ai models being more and more trained by ai models humans created version 1.0 and maybe 2.0 but at some point the ai models themselves take a bigger and bigger role in improving and producing the future generations of ai models gemini the large language model produces the data alpha proof is a system that trains itself to come up with proofs and it couples a pre-trained language model with the alpha zero reinforcement learning algorithm which previously taught itself how to master the games of chess shogi and go and the big kind of deal about this thing is the idea of self-play the model teaches itself when the ai model is trained for example to play chess on only human games so we take all the human games that humans have played that we have access to we feed into the model it gets it gets good it gets very good but when we have it just play itself billions and billions of games and come up with its own sort of strategies and solutions it gets super human good it comes up with those groundbreaking highly dynamic and unconventional style of play those new alien novel moves that kind of shock us the way that alpha proof was trained is it went through it went through the process of proving or disproving millions of problems covering a wide range of difficulties and mathematical topic areas over a period of weeks leading up to the competition this model is a few weeks old the training loop was also applied during the contest, reinforcing proofs of self-generated variations of the contest problems until a solution can be found. Again, it's that theme. It's generated synthetic data. You give it a problem and tell it create a hundred similar problems. It does, and that's data for the continued training. Here's how they kind of represent that visually. It's a reinforcement learning training loop around 1 million informal math problems are translated into a formal math language by a formalizer network. So if I understand correctly, this was the Gemini fine-tuned model that formalizes into formal problems. So it looks like they have around 100 million formal problems in the proper notation. And so this process is alpha zero. It takes those problems, it searches for proofs or disproofs of those problems, progressively training itself via the alpha zero algorithm to solve more challenging problems and the other sort of part of this whole system that won the imo it was alpha geometry 2. they're saying it's a more competitive alpha geometry 2 and it's a significantly improved version of the original it's a neurosymbolic hybrid system in which the language model was based on gemini and trained from scratch on an order of magnitude more synthetic data than its predecessor the idea of this massive increase in using synthetic data is the same thing that we're seeing with OpenAI with the big release of llama 3.1 in fact mark zuckerberg referred to the llama 3.1 as a teacher model you're able to have it generate synthetic data the outputs and then use that synthetic data to train your own sort of specialized models that can be very effective and much smaller much faster much cheaper to use 
the fact that it's open source allows you to do that. They continue that Alpha Geometry 2 employs a symbolic engine that is two orders of magnitude faster than its predecessor. Before this year's competition, Alpha Geometry 2 could solve 83 of all historical IMO geometry problems from the past 25 years, compared to the 53% rate achieved by its predecessor. They're saying that this problem four was solved within 19 seconds after receiving the formalization. So once they were able to translate the word problem into lean, it solved it in 19 seconds. I believe this was problem number four. Basically, it's a very long description of a shape, starting with a triangle and circles, and then asking for the proof about certain angles and what they're equal to. 19 seconds later, here's the solution. They briefly mentioned that, you know, we don't have to necessarily manually translate everything. Humans don't have to translate those word problems into the, into the formal language or lean notation, whatever it is. They're saying they do have that model built upon Gemini, a fine-tuned version of Gemini that is able to do that. And they're saying that they, they did try that with the IMO problems. They said it showed great promise. So it sounds like it works well, but not 100%. So human will correctly translate that 100% of the time. This model maybe is less than that, so they didn't want to mess around during the actual competition. But at some point, even this barrier might be broken. They're planning to release more technical de details on alpha proof soon. Well, I kind of want to know what you think about this. Is this exciting? Is this scary? It kind of seems like AI systems are getting better and better at even the tasks that only the sort of top performance of, of humans who are the experts, the best in the world in their respective categories. AI seems to be getting better and better at some of those tasks and even slowly perhaps at the task of even improving itself. We're seeing more and more synthetic data. We're seeing things like this alpha zero approach to teaching the AI self-play, playing it itself to improve itself. More and more we're relying on AI to, to sort of create its own improvements, so to speak. We're still very early, but it seems like that process is accelerating. So either way, it's very exciting. I want to know what you think about this. It's absolutely incredible what the DeepMind team is doing, Demi Sasabis, and his work and, and his teams have been absolutely groundbreaking in, in so many different areas. And uh, I can't wait to see what they come up with next, because I don't think they're stopping anytime soon. With that said, my name is Wes Roth, and thank you for watching.